For FeatureCam 2016, more improvements have been made to the user interface. Firstly, items within the part view stock, setup, features, curves, surfaces and solids are now highlighted when the cursor hovers over them. In addition to this, the items are also highlighted in the graphics screen, making it easier to quickly find and select the item needed. Secondly, the option to change tool colour during simulation has now been moved from a preview function to both a toolbar and menu item, letting you quickly change the tool colour during simulation. So in this example file, I've got a few features already pre-created, which are the whole features around the outside. And what I want to do is I want to create some pockets. I'm going to do this just by going to my new feature wizard. I'm going to go, let's create a pocket, extract with feature recognition. I'm going to do automatic recognition, identify those two pockets, and say finish. You can see I've now generated those two pockets in the part view. As I go over to this area here and hover over each of those feature types, you can see they are now highlighted in the graphics screen. And they're highlighted with this green colour. This colour can be changed if I wish to. If I go into the options, colouring, into default colours, and you see there is a new highlight colour option available to me. As well as this, we can also turn this option off if we wish to. Under the viewing, you see we've got a general tab and under the general tab we've got show feature dynamic highlight. The dynamic highlighting makes it very quick to analyze and find different elements of the part or the FM file uh, that I wish to make changes to. So for example if I open up the curves you can see I can highlight all the curves in the in the feature. Likewise I can go and highlight all the solids in this particular file as well. In this particular instance what I want to do is you can see I've got two different Z levels uh, which are making two different islands in these pockets. I want to raise the underlying curves of these just by 5mm to mate with that top face. So to do this I can go in and select uh, the curves. So in this case I'm going to hover over just to identify the curves that I'm interested in. So you can see that's definitely curve 18 so I can select that one. And then without selecting I can just hover over and identify the second curve, in this case curve 21. You, using control to select I can identify those two curves and then in this case I'm going to do a translation so I'm going to translate in uh, Z by 5 millimeters, preview and say OK and we can see we get an update in the feature. So the highlighting function makes it very very quick to analyze and find uh, different elements within the FM file. I'm just going to take these two pockets, I'm just going to move those to the top because I want to cut those first and I'm now going to have a look at the tool colors option. So the ability to increment tool colors has been available uh, previously as a preview function just by accessing the control right click preview menu down the bottom of the screen. Now in this case what we, uh, what we get is a, a new toolbar uh, that's integrated into the simulation toolbar. So you can see we've got a, a button available to me here on the toolbar uh, to change the, uh, the simulation tool colour. In order to see the change in colour, of course, under your simulation options, you'll need to have tool colours switched on. The other area that we can access this button is via the, uh, the customise menu. So I can go to customise just by right clicking in the grey space. Uh, and we can go to the commands and under simulation you'll see the button is available there and I could put it anywhere in the interface. Likewise if you haven't got it on your simulation toolbar it may be because you maybe have, have made edits to this in the past um, but that's not a problem we can select simulation and just say resel uh, reset selected. The final area to access it we can go to the view simulation and when we're in simulation we can go to the change simulation tool color. So in this case I'm going to go and do a 3D simulation, single step. We can see at the moment I get my default dark red colour for my uh, for my tool. Uh, in this case I can go ahead and play to the next operation. So I'm going to cut that pocket and then this is using the same tool for the next pocket but I'm going to say change the tool colour. So I can maybe do two clicks on that. We've now got the yellow tool. We can cut that same pocket roughing only with a different colour. Again, cutting the outside profile with the ball nose tool, increment the tool colour again, maybe go for the purple, 
and then cut that pocket like so.